The importance of speed in the advancement of fighter jets cannot be emphasized enough. The unwavering dedication of the aviation industry has led to the creation of an aircraft with unmatched capabilities that can exceed the speed of light. The United States has broken through previous speed limits with the introduction of the world's first hypersonic fighter jet. What is the top speed that this jet can reach during flight and how effective is it in combat situations? Join us as we explore the United States Air Force's trials of this groundbreaking hypersonic plane. Throughout history, military aircraft have undergone a remarkable transformation, evolving from clunky and slow machines to sleek and lightning-fast marvels of engineering. However, the ever-changing landscape of modern warfare has brought about new challenges, demanding the development of advanced features in fighter jets worldwide. Aviation companies have tirelessly worked towards creating an aircraft that not only surpasses the speed of light with hypersonic capabilities but also possesses the ability to transport formidable weaponry to conflict zones amidst fierce global competition. While the United States has emerged as a leader in technological innovation, it is important to note that they are not working alone. In fact, this groundbreaking venture began in collaboration with a startup based in Atlanta, Georgia, resulting in the birth of a truly extraordinary aircraft known as the Quarter Horse. Version 1, this cutting-edge aircraft has joined the fleet, earning high praise from the United States as a groundbreaking military advancement. With its hypersonic speeds, this state-of-the-art fighter jet embodies the well-established aviation principle that greater speed equals greater power, making it a formidable force in combat situations. The inspiration behind this revolutionary aircraft is the Quarter Horse, a compact plane measuring around 40M. It sets itself apart from traditional models by ditching standard engines in favor of the advanced Hermes engine, known as the Chima. Thanks to this innovative propulsion system, the Quarter Horse can achieve speeds that surpass any previously recorded, even surpassing the legendary SR-71 Blackbird's speed record. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, once one of the fastest fighter jets in existence, was an incredibly swift reconnaissance aircraft that flew higher and faster than its counterparts, reaching speeds three times that of sound. Unveiled in 1964 and deployed by the U.S. Air Force from 1966, it was retired in 1989 due to political reasons, although it briefly made a comeback in the 1990s with specialized espionage equipment like cameras and radar. By flying at great altitudes and speeds, it could outmaneuver enemy defenses and evade threats. After its retirement, satellites and drones took over its surveillance duties. Lockheed Martin is currently in the works of developing a successor to the renowned State Route 71, known as the SR-72 drone, which is set to make its debut in 2025. Despite the SR-71's retirement and its record-breaking status as the fastest manned aircraft in 1976, the upcoming hypersonic aircraft is ready to carry on its remarkable legacy. The creation of the SR-72 showcases the brilliance and determination of human innovation, incorporating cutting-edge engines and materials specifically designed to endure the extreme demands of ultra-fast flight. As the aircraft takes off, its turbine engine emits a melodic hum, but as it accelerates to extraordinary speeds, it seamlessly transitions to a specialized ramjet engine. This remarkable engine empowers the aircraft to achieve mind-boggling velocities. The SR-72 is an incredibly versatile aircraft, capable of executing rapid reconnaissance missions and delivering precise missile strikes. However, the Quarter Horse, equipped with its Chima engine, is expected to surpass even these awe-inspiring accomplishments. In January 2023, Hermes successfully completed the initial phase of developing the hypersonic Quarter Horse. They conducted extensive tests that were under their command. Later that year, they used a unique apparatus called the Dynamic Iron Bird to evaluate the Quarter Horse's performance on land. This device ensured that all components seamlessly integrated during ground-level testing. To further evaluate this hypersonic craft, the developers utilized a prototype called the Quarter Horse MK0. It contained only essential components for testing but proved to be cost-effective and sufficient for comprehensive testing. These trials took place at the Arnold Engineering Development Complex in Tennessee, a facility chosen by Hermes due to its close collaboration with the Air Force, which has consistently supported Hermes's advancements. 
In August 2021, Hermes secured a $1.5 million deal with the Air Force to transform their envisioned aircraft into a potential Air Force One for presidential transport. During the same month, a collaborative Air Force contract ensured an additional $60 million investment in Hermes's project. The company is currently pushing forward with the Quarter Horse as a prototype for a military jet called Dark Horse. Once Dark Horse is completed, Hermes has its sights set on creating Horizon, a supersonic commercial airliner, fulfilling its original goal of civilian commercial aviation. Hermes's progress goes beyond just setting records or using cutting-edge technology. In the past, the U.S. Air Force relied on the exceptional speed of the SR-71 Blackbird to surpass global competitors like Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, and others in the race for aerial supremacy. Now, there is a renewed urgency for speed in the U.S. The Blackbird, capable of incredible speeds and altitudes, managed to evade over 4,000 missiles during its 30 years of service without ever being shot down. Without any weapons, its sheer speed was its defense, outpacing any missile attack. However, its retirement in 1999 meant the loss of the Air Force's ability to outmaneuver threats. Even if the SR-70 were still in operation today, it would fall short against modern dangers, highlighting the need for a new hypersonic successor. Hermes is getting ready for the first flight of the quarter horse in 2024. This new model will run on the Chima engine, a groundbreaking technology inspired by General Electric's J85 turbojet engine. Collaborations with the Diyu and various defense entities offer a valuable opportunity to test and improve their innovations. These partnerships are key not only in enhancing the quarter horse and its Chima engine but also in pushing forward another project, the Dark Horse. AJ Pip, the CEO of Hermes, is excited about launching the Quarter Horse in high-speed flight trials, with the knowledge gained set to benefit the Dark Horse. He also highlighted the importance of the contract in their strategic plan to develop hypersonic aircraft in the future. In February 2021, a Zyron missile struck a target in Ukraine, causing extensive damage. This missile, a modified version of the 9K-7 Iskander missile for aircraft launch, is capable of hitting both stationary and moving targets. Despite the Russian media's excitement, the Kinzel missile, a hypersonic weapon, utilizes standard ballistic missile technology and can independently travel between 460 to 480 kilometers, with each missile costing around $10 million. China's Dongfeng-17 DF-17 missile, equipped with the DFCF glider, is designed for medium-range travel and has the potential to carry nuclear warheads. It is highly maneuverable and challenging to intercept, traveling at Mach 5. Furthermore, the YJ-83 is a Chinese subsonic anti-ship cruise missile available in various versions, including an air-launched variant with infrared guidance and remote control capabilities. This missile uses radar for target acquisition. The air-launched YJ-83K has a range of 180 km, cruises at Mach 0.9, and carries a 165 kg warhead. The upgraded version, YJ-83KH, features an infrared seeker, extending its range to 230 km and adding remote guidance capabilities. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos. See you in the next video.